Hello everyone, welcome back, my name is Triplus and uh, well, first and foremost I want to wish you guys uh, the best for the new year um, but uh, let's get into the video, so as you can see in front of me I have a few new uh, things as, uh, as I said in my previous video I actually wanted a Son of Duel so I ordered one pretty much a day after um, I made my earlier video and well I got it so this is the Son of Duel, as you can see, um, let me try to open it, uh, it's the this thing again, and then um, we have our Son of Duel, so it looks exactly like the the other one that we have, um, I forgot to know, TH10 I think it was called, so it looks the same, the only difference here is that we have Duel, we even have a little hole right here, but uh, you, you can't really see inside, but um, yeah, th there is no connection uh, for it, so you immediately see some pins. Um, I'm actually going to open this one up uh, right now, so let me get a uh, screwdriver. Okay, there we go. This looks kind of promising. Um, okay, there we go, it's open. So as you can see, um, and this is what I was hoping for, um, the pins right here are your uh, VCC, RX, DX and ground pins. Oh, sorry, I was moving it away. Um, what happens when I turn on my light? Okay, so you can see it better now. So right here, and these are needed to connect to Home Assistant. Well, to flash custom firmware on here to connect to Home Assistant. So, I'm going to connect all the rest, so I have two outlets, one inlet, again right here, I probably have to turn on my light again, you have out one, out two, and then here you have the in, so I will, and these are all the, the neutral wires, so I'm going to connect this, um, test it out really quick, and then uh, I will be right back. Okay, so I finished connecting uh, everything to my Son of Duel. So as you can see here, um, every wire is connected uh, the way it should be. And my earth is uh, soldered together and I put a, a shrink tube or whatever it's called around it just to protect it. Um, and well, everything's working. I already flashed the device as well. So it should uh, be connected to my MQTT server. Uh, a quick rundown how to flash this one because it's a little bit different than the other uh, sort of basic ones. So the first thing you will need is just a simple jumper wire and you will have to connect um, the ground to button zero. So just by putting the jumper wire on, on both. You will just need uh, an, another uh, thing called FTDI programmer uh, just like the other Sonos. Um, same wiring and then in these um, holes here you just have to put uh, VCC to VCC, RX to TX on your um, on your FTDI programmer. So you basically have to cross the RX TX to TX RX and then the ground to ground so put it in like this. Um, then uh, plug the USB cable of your uh, FTDI programmer into your computer. Um, and then wait two seconds and then remove the, the jumper wire or one of the, one of the connections uh, and then your device will be in programming mode and then you just flash the firmware on it. Um, I will leave the instructions to flashing or to the firmware I used in the description. Um, but well, everything is working right now. I'm going to close the uh, enclosure again. Uh, well, as you can see here, I have... Uh, the one inlet, two outlets, um, 
I'm just going to close up everything again. Hopefully I don't pull anything off and because it took me a while to connect everything. Um, I'm just not sure what this cable will do, the, the one with my, uh, my earth. Okay guys, so um, as you can see, I have the Sonoff web UI open, which is basically a quick configuration um, place where you can also do the, the toggling of the buttons. Um, here you can see that the most important part is for a Sonoff Dual, that you actually have to configure it as a Sonoff Dual, then save it, your device will restart, and that's basically all you have to do. You have the toggle buttons here, and I already configured it with Home Assistant as well. So here are my two buttons. I have a complete script running behind this that they will toggle automatically. But as you can see, it's linked to MQTT. If I click here, this turns on. Um, it will be same the other way around, as you can see. So basically, we have connected to Home Assistant without doing anything. So the only thing you need to do is set up the correct information in your user config for the uh, Son of Test Mode software. And that's all you need to do. And of course, configure your Home Assistant. But that's fairly straightforward. So if you guys want, I can make a more in-depth in depth, uh, guide on this with my TH10 that I have laying around because I promised I would connect it to Home Assistant. It's fairly straightforward in my opinion, but it's also a very strong uh, piece of technology uh, because you have complete control over whatever you plug in the outlets. So thanks for watching. Um, I'm not sure this video will still go up today, which is the 31st, but if it goes up today, uh, best wishes for the new year. If it's later, well, also best wishes for the new year. And I uh, hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.